Lord. Welcome to Flane and the Diamond Noir Chair, which is on the upper mountain in Flane's Snowshore Bowl. Let's get stuck right in to tell you why this chairlift is a must hit, especially on a powder day. Installed in 1972, the Diamond Noir chairlift has been part of Flame Ski Resort for the last 50 years. Accessing some of the best terrain in the whole of the Grand Massive, the Diamond Noir chair starts above 2,000 meters, so it has some of the best snow in the entire ski area. Flane had already been delivering a pretty epic Easter period when the snow fell again and I woke up to another bluebird powder day. On days like this, the Diamond Noir chair may just be the best place to be in the entire Grand Massive. The initial pitch of Diamond Noir starts fairly mellow and I'm sure that many a poor intermediate has misjudged it from this vantage point. Mellow soon turns to steep and the camera really doesn't do this section justice. Still, on a day like today, with ample snow, Diamond Noir was delivering. Matching the incredible conditions was the insane lack of crowds here at Diamond Noir. This was a powder day on one of the best laps in the resort, and yet I was getting lap after lap without having to queue. As the area directly underneath the chair begins to get trapped, Diamond Noir doesn't give in. There is exceptional off-piece to both the left and right of Diamond Noir, so let's take a look at what else is on offer. With just a short traverse to the right of the piece poles, you can find yourself in some super fun rolling terrain. It's easy to lap this area and find a freshie, even in the afternoon. Alternatively, stick to the run and directly after the steepest section, cut left. This area of Diamond Noir is often underutilised and can offer some of the best turns. Starting steep, this section mellows out as you head back towards the piece and the Diamond Noir chair. I love the bottom section for its flow and how cruisy it feels, especially on a day like today. If you are looking for your dose of adrenaline, there really is only one place to head from the top of Diamond Noir. But you should only do so if you're aware of the avalanche risk and are happy you have taken the relevant precautions. The area in question is a short traverse and leads to two couloirs. A rope marks the cliff and you should only pass if you are confident in the conditions and your ability. The nearest couloir has a steep entrance but opens into a wide face that looks back over the whole of flame. This face offers some incredible turns and from here it's possible to lap from Diamond Noir or the DMC Gondola. Couloir 2 is a little further along and has a mellower entrance. Because it is a bit further away from the lift, it sometimes takes longer to track out. So this couloir can be a good option for finding fresh powder turns in the afternoon. From both of these routes, if you're looking to head back to Diamond Noir, just hug right. If you keep heading over to the right, you'll soon come across the lift bowls and you'll be right back ready to lap again. So I've spent the whole morning just riding the Diamond Noir chair. It has been powder lap after powder lap. It's starting to get the slightest bit tracked, but there are still good times to be found. So let's go find some good times. over here. This is the stuff. Oh my! That 
is worth another lap or two. <laughs> that is so good. Oh my god. Diamond Noir. An absolute love affair. Woo! What a day.